I am going to tell you about the book that completely changed how I look at nature. It was written by author and forester Peter Volaben and is called The Hidden Life of Trees. Here's my copy, slightly worn because I've read it cover to cover. The Hidden Life of Trees charts Peter Volaben's discovery of the world of, well, trees, uncovering what they feel and how they communicate. Though trees have been studied extensively for a very long time in human history, there has always been so much more about their behaviour that lurks in the unknown. Voleben's mission is to bring some of these secrets to life, and he would know. As a managing forester working in the Eiffel Mountains in Germany, his observations are based on nothing less than a lifetime of extensive study into trees. After graduating from forestry school in the 80s, he was originally employed as a government wood ranger in the Rheinhand Palatinate. But he left this particular line of work as he became increasingly dissatisfied by the felon and insecticide practices used by that particular business. The book does in fact go into great detail on how deforestation and replantation of such aggressive magnitude warrants more of a negative impact on trees and their habitat than is initially visible. More intrinsic to the book is the method by which large communities of trees operate through a large network of communication. Voleben doesn't beat around the bush <laughs> about referencing this as a term of social network. In layman's terms, the book gives credibility to the case that trees do in fact talk to each other, the prospect of which is by no means as whimsical as it might seem on the surface. This term is only an embroidered description of something wholly scientific and has been validated by extensive research. Trees communicate, they send messages, they warn each other of danger, and they remember. Looking at trees throughout your everyday life, it's easy to forget that you are only looking at a visible number of components and not the entire organism itself. Underground, it's a whole new story, and one that the casual passerby does not often get the privilege of seeing. Therefore, one can overlook the vast numerous roots of the tree that spread far and wide underground, and their vital symbiotic interaction with fungi which occupy in great magnitude deep within the earth. These elements, rarely visible, play a huge part in the life of a tree, and that is a mystery that will unfurl before you as you read this book. These insights, as mind-blowing as they are, are still only the tip of the iceberg. Along the 250 pages and 36 chapters, Voleben dispels the easy to palletize idea that nature is at peace with itself and in perfect balance all the time. The reality is, in fact, a great deal more complicated than this. Nature is a battle and dominance of species among trees entails some brutal altercations, not just with each other, but with the whole of nature as well. And with this comes the forging of beneficial relationships between differing species of tree, other plants, and carefully selected representatives of surrounding wildlife. That's not to say that nature isn't a grandiose operation that has been regularly disrupted by mankind over centuries. It has. The introduction of new elements into an already occupied natural space, as brought on by human beings, has caused the deep and patiently forged relationship with tree and its surroundings to go disastrously array, causing long-term damage that can sometimes only be recorded through generations of the human lifespan, such as the comparatively slow workings of trees and their journeys that segments of their lifespans are inert through our own human minds, but are steady and rapid and consequential enough as far as the tree itself is concerned. Likewise, the book makes no motion to demonise humanity either, only to encourage readers to acknowledge the benefits of looking after, nurturing and abiding by the sacrosanctity of our giant green colleagues, and colleagues they are. For one thing, trees are stated to be a potent force in the battle to decrease carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, and therefore serve as a powerful ally in our battle against climate change. The mutual respect between human and tree is a very real thing, and should by all accounts be taken seriously. The bottom line of the blurb makes a promise that this book fully delivers on, a walk in the woods will never be the same again. And it's true. From somebody who takes lots of walks in nature, I can personally validate that a whole new perspective accompanies observing a tree. And as I already stated, this is far from whimsical. Reading this book gives you a perspective on what these hardened giants endure in their centuries-long lifespan. The knowledge contained in this book will help you determine which thriving forests of trees will reign as champions along the passage of time, and which lonesome trees with the blackened cracks in the base of their forked branches 
branches are sadly doomed to a slow death. Yes, I am by no means an expert, and I'd have a heck of a long road before I could call myself anything close to one. But the hidden life of trees opens a doorway of understanding that revitalized my love for the unfathomable brilliance of nature. And should you purchase and read this book, the same thing will happen to you. Many thanks to Peter Verleben for sharing his insights. We're one step closer to discovering nature's secrets.